Welcome Stalkers, Lone Wolf here with the Ultimate Graphics Video Tutorial Part 1 um, Just to start with, first we're going to need some preparation There's a couple of files you're going to need and, uh, Sorry, a couple of apps you're going to need and quite a few files Now, <clears throat> I'll probably do this in about three or four different parts because um, there's a lot of newbies out there that have got no idea how to mod Stalker Anomaly so um, we'll take it easy, take it slow and Hopefully we'll get you up and running with a beautiful looking game. First to start, you're going to need the base game, which you can get from ModDB. Uh, go to Files. Install Anomaly 1.51, or download it, sorry, and the update. So download them to your computer and put them in a file, somewhere where you find them. Next up, choose a hard drive where you want to install the game. I've got two drives on my laptop, so I use the second one mainly for games. Uh, create a folder. We call this Stalker Install Tutorial Game. Okay, then we'll install the base game. Pretty simple. <clears throat> Extract it to your install folder. There it is. Okay. We're about four and a half, five minutes. OK, we've got the base game installed, as you can see. Now we need to put the update in. I mean, you can play with 1.51, but um, a lot of the recent mods over the past couple of years are geared towards 1.52. Some will only run on 1.52, so that's worth bearing in mind. So again, install the update. Same location. Click yes to auto uh, to overwrite. Uh, this one should be done pretty quick. Okay. So now you've got both installed. Let's run the game. So you went DirectX 11. Uh, support for AVX, yeah. Switch on the debug mode, because you'll need that. You just hit F7 and you can change the weathers and various other settings. Uh, keep the shadow modes low, unless you've got a really, really high-end computer. And prefetch sounds. And put in your screen resolution. I'm running a 2K monitor, so that's uh, 1440p. Uh, makes the game look even better. It's definitely a jump up from one standard HD. And borderless windowed. Seems to be less problems than full screen. And run. I said so on the main screen. Uh, you can see down in the bottom left, you got Stalker 1.52, that's installed. Uh, that's all we need to do for now. So we can exit out of there. Uh, onto the modded execs. So you need to go to the GitHub page, uh, do a search for Stalk Anomaly modded execs, click on GitHub. Uh, that'll take you to the main screen. And if you look down to the middle right, you've got the releases, the latest release, 26th of October. Click on latest. Click on the first one, which is the modded execs folder. Zip file. Download that bad boy. Uh, let's create a file. Folder even. Bear with me. So you got it there. It's just three files. Three folders even. Right, create a file for that.
Okay. Best to keep all your folders and your files all together. As you can see, I've got all mine listed in one. Semi-organized. Right, okay. So now you've got your three folders there. You can extract them into the your, uh, your created folder. Find it, find it. There we go. Extract. Okay. Let's get this installed. So again, just in case of dragging and dropping those three folders into your main uh, anomaly folder. Main folder. As you can see, you've got your uh, your XX there. I mean, we're only interested in DirectX 11 and 11 ABX. But install everything. So select all three, copy, and paste. Replace the files, yep. Okay, job done. Now we're going to run the game again just to check that it's installed okay. Okay, and down in the uh, bottom left, you can see we've got the uh, modded execs installed. So it's always good. Every time you install a mod or a program into the game, open up the main game and check to see if it's running properly. That way it'll save you some problems down the line. Okay, job done. Uh, now we're going to download the new levels. So you go back to your uh, ModDB page. Uh, it's the search for new levels. It should be the first one that comes up. You need to download that, the same way you did with the modded execs, put it somewhere where you're going to find it. Okay, so I've downloaded that. I'll put it in the new levels folder, which I created. So again, you've got two folders there, DB and game data. Click on them both. Again, copy, uh, try again, copy, and paste into your main game folder. Okay, like I said before, now we'll open up the game again. This time we go into the game, equip our PDA, and let's just check to see if those new game levels are in there. Create a new one, Paul. Don't worry too much. Rookie Village. Okay. Apparently you can uh, install the new levels mod um, on top of existing games or already installed anomaly games um, but they do advise you start fresh fresh gameplay okay so we're in the game let's quit the PDA Where's my new levels? Okay. There's the Hunzi Town. There's Brom Zone. 
and there's the infamous Grimwood. Uh, you see you've got entries and exits, points, and other maps. Okay, all good. Exit out of that. Quick save. See you in the next one.